Did you know that respect is more, it is more than just a formality, it is the of all people talks, but what if I told you that the way you think about respect could be not right at all in this video? We will find out one of the biggest wrong ideas about how people interact with each other and show how not having respect can't will not only hurt your relationships, but also put your mental health at risk and well-being stay with us for a new and important revelation that could changes the way you deal with the learn how to keep the world around you safe. Keep your honor and make your for good. End your relationships with other people. Everyone, don't forget that we want to hear from you. From you, share your stories and write your thoughts in the space below. Start treating people badly all the time is more than just being polite. It's the pillar in all that is good and useful. People interacting when we keep running into a lack of respect that is shown by actions that or completely ignore someone's with honor. This warning sign can't be ignored. These kinds of habits can show up in different ways from constant interruptions in a talk to be harmful critique or a choice not to care about the mental needs of someone else. Each of these things hurt the trust and safety is important for any healthy getting together. The lack of respect that doesn't go away has made it clear that the, the relationship could be put at risk to a point in time when someone's mental health is being at risk in these situations, and pulling away being alone is not a desertion, but a, as a way to protect yourself, it is an important step to keep your mind at peace and personal honesty, stopping the low self-esteem and the growth of, of anger, choosing to stay away. Getting away from a bad dynamic is an act being brave, and having self-respect on these events lets us thought about our own ideals and reaffirmed our dedicated to protecting individual worth, clearly setting up and keeping. Setting limits is important for any long-term friendly, and these limits on the relationship not only protect yourself from mental damage, but also work to create a place where respect for each other can grow by facing and recognizing that there is still no. With respect, we give ourselves the chance to renew ourselves and grow as people. We learn to appreciate those who treat us even more with the respect we deserve and learn. Not putting up with less than this, this is a time to think about the part that respect plays. Part it plays in our lives and how not having it can be bad for both the person and, and to the social structure as a whole. Seeing these signs and taking action according to is necessary for growing better for you and more satisfying relationships that are bad for mental health. Good health ties that last cause thoughts of worry, sadness or stress and anxiety are very bad for not only we all want peace and quiet, but also to our ability to do things, living a healthy and good life every day. Stoic thought tells us to look for mental peace as an important state for the practice of good and virtue living, but taking part in linkships that constantly bother. This balance of emotions directly challenges that goal when put to the test places where people feel emotionally upset us. We might have a our mental health is getting worse, which shows up not only through emotions pain, but also as physical problems like not having enough energy, sleepiness, or having stomach problems, these signs are. There were clear signs that something in the, the way our relationships work is not adding to our health and happiness and needs to be careful thought about becoming aware of the bad. What these relationships mean for the first step toward beginning. Changing things to keep our mental health safe often involves making tough choice, like stopping or limiting, getting in touch with people who continue to make people feel bad. This is an important act of self-care and a proof that we have the right to a healthy setting that is good for person-to-person -person growth by separating ourselves from getting rid of bad effects and restructuring. The people we're with don't just taking care of our mental health, but also making it easier for us to live longer fully. 
and this process may involve being good, looking for help from family, friends, or people who work in mental health, who can offer the direction and help needed to get their emotions back in check and make our dedication to a stronger goodness life by growing and taking care of ties that help and boost. Yes, we're still committed to peace, and goodness are important pillars to really live a good life. Value misalignment, the compatibility of values that people share, are a, an important part of the growth of real and important relationships when we often find ourselves at odds with what's right, principles and ideas that we hold dear treasure. There are moral dilemmas that can lead to major internal disagreements. These disagreements are more than just differences of mind. They get to the heart of who, what we think and who we are, and right are always fighting over ideas, that things that go against our own can weaken our inner. Keep the peace and work together being real and living in a state of when there is constant ethical confusion, trying to find your way without a map in UNF familiar ground where every our choice seems to call our honesty into question and deepest convictions that this imbalance can cause to a gradual loss of belief in oneself and trying to fit in or boost your self-esteem to accept ideals that are different from our own. We should question our own character and values. In turn, this can show up as stress worry and a sense of being cut off from yourself and other people. So it is important to see and deal with these differences in value intentionally setting clear. There are limits on what is accepted in our relationships can help us stay together, a sense of who they are, and in some situations this could mean cutting down on or stopping interactions with people whose values are deeply in clash with the things we made. These making tough decisions is necessary to staying true to ourselves and to creation of a space where we can to live in line with our own morals and idea that by making these kinds of choices we not, not just look out for our mental health, but also strengthen our dedication to an honest living a life that rules that these acts are not only free us from internal fights, and also pave the way for the way for more profound and important ties based on real agreement value of a constant feeling of drain. A healthy friendship should be a haven of support for each other and revival as a way to always running out of resources. When encounters with a guy who always leaves us drained, this is a scary sign that the relationship might be pulling us apart, taking away from our essence and stopping the, the growth of our full. This tiredness has the ability to show up in different ways, like a feeling of feeling emotionally worn out after meetings, a getting more excited about things that used to make you happy, or even a, a strong feeling of sadness, or don't worry, these signs show that the having a relationship takes more energy than the bad effects it has on our both mental and physical health and also a bond that drains our energy over and over again can stop us from reaching our goals and expertly done successes instead of pushing us forward. In the present, these connections push us forward, backstopping our progress toward personal satisfaction and the real A statement of our skills that let us know when we're in a cycle of steady draining is very important. As soon as we find this dynamic, we should think about re-evaluating and maybe changes or stops to these interactions, setting up healthy. Setting limits is important to keep our health and make sure that our relationships are sources of happiness and choices for growth and mutual growth that put our health first is not. As a form of self-care, it is a needed step to make sure we are being around people who positively make our lives better by letting us. We should grow and try to be our best, ourselves by letting go of interactions that drain us, that we make room for, making new ties that you really value, and boost our spirit manipulation trickery, whether it's mental or behavior, is a very serious crime of stoic ideas about being real and honesty is an important value for building. Being honest and polite, 
This kind of behavior in relationships involves taking sneaky steps to often control or influence other people, hiding their true intentions and tricking them. People who are relationships that have been changed and some forms of manipulation change the reality as seen by those involved people who are seriously compromising their being able to make free and informed decisions when we are drunk or high of being manipulated, our judgment becomes cloudy, making it impossible to evaluate being in situations and making choices with. This can lead to clarity and reason, a state of not knowing what to do, where we're always not sure about more about our own thoughts and choices than those attacks of manipulation each person's honor and respect as it takes advantage of mental weaknesses with the goal of getting to know. This kind of behavior not only takes away benefits, trust and respect between people, but also causes, affects the self-esteem for a long time and the mental health of the person being manipulated person. So it's important to identify and deal with situations of changing things in our figuring out these links how they act lets us protect our freedom and honesty. This could mean establishing clear rules or, in some cases, totally pulling away from the abusing power rejection and removal from a relationship having the effect of change from our lives. We repeat our promise to morals of being honest and real. This is an important step in keeping our being able to make good decisions and to keep your respect and honor for this helps us and others helping to make people better and really treat people with respect. If you're, if you like this, please leave a like and most importantly, leave a message with your thoughts because they help me bring this message to more people. And of course, if that you think this information is useful, please sign up to keep the lack of trust going. Trust is a key part of any kind of, of connection, whether it's a personal, a persistent lack of work or social lack of trust can quickly make the, the basis of our most important encounters that happen when trust is broken or we are always on when they are not there. God not able to let down and share our real selves, thoughts and feelings that don't change. Being on high watch not only stops the growth of a deep and important bond, but also makes an atmosphere of there is tension and doubt without trust. Everything the other person says or does can be taken with a grain of salt and every a small mistake could happen. To get worse and become a major conflict in this atmosphere of lack of trust can cause a circle of where neither side is safe or afraid feels safe or more important than not trusting makes it harder for us to open up, taking away all of our freedom to be, being open and honest with other people. Being vulnerable is important for building real and deep ties as it lets people talk about their fears and hopes and dreams. Without it, relationships tend to stay on the surface and functionally limited identifying and dealing with the so. A loss of trust is necessary to bringing back the honesty of our in-person encounters, such as open and an open and honest conversation about the worries and fears that each side may be a feeling setting up and following clear. Please can help to rebuild what was lost. There are times when trust may be needed. To get a referee to help or professional to help with this process, it's important to face these problems. Step in, setting up a new workplace where everyone can feel safe and important and understood by putting money into rebuilding trust that we are not only fixing what's broken bonds, but also making them stronger, our own ability to talk to each other honestly and connect deeply with the world around us. If, if you like this, don't miss out on the chance to buy the ebook right now, Stoicism in the 21st Century Plans for Dealing with Today's Problems, and get access to your prosperity wealth and get along better with this stuff. Ebook link in the abusive comment that was pinned of any kind of abuse, no matter what form it takes, whether they are physical, mental, verbal, psychological, is a very serious going against the rules of Stoicism that accept each other's worth and value dignity among someone this kind of nasty.
Not only does behavior cause instant and terrible harm to the person, but also ruins people's morals. Relationships that attack the core of what you should be polite and ending violent relationships is a good thing to do. Not just a way to take care of yourself, but imperativeness need to protect one's own peace and ethics, staying in a bad situation. Dynamic doesn't work with the chase of a good and balanced life, as supported by the Stoics. Peaceful thoughts and harmony of spirit as goals to be pursued, the choice to separate oneself, getting out of an abusive situation is as a result an important step, not only in keeping more harm from happening, but in reaffirming how much you value and respect yourself. You can do this process for yourself. Difficult because of the possible social being alone, because of abuse, or the it can lead to mental dependence. Still, it's important to get help from family, friends, or skilled people to help you through this tough time that time by choosing to end such. In our relationships, we've chosen a road, progress toward healing and reaffirmation of our honor. It is a chance to start over with life on building blocks of self-respect and shared respect changes what we expect from what we and others did in terms of medical care, and by taking a direct role in this interaction, getting rid of abuse in our lives shows a dedication to higher education morals and the never-ending search for that of a state of peace and honor that everyone deserves not to grow, or relationships of mutual help that do not help people grow personally or mutually. Support can lead to a standstill, a setting that severely limits their personal growth and our being able to make a good contribution to others. This lack of help and growth not only slows down our own evolution, but can also stop us from getting there our best selves in a good way. There is help and growth in the relationships, as important parts helping both to personal growth and to getting closer to each other, without these elements connections, can turn into single-sided or only useful, where effects on relationships are limited to keeping up appearances or meeting responsibilities in place of encouraging real relationship and two ways monthly evaluation of the enrichment. The changes in our relationships are very important to making sure we're in a place that not only respects and values what we bring to the table, but also boosts and celebrates our growth and well-being that this survey may show the need to talk about shared goals and goals that change the course of exchanges so that everyone can the benefit of changes that happen when mutual help and steady growth are consistently. If not, it might be time to think again how these will work in the long term. Getting along. This doesn't always mean an abrupt breakup, but it could also mean shifting or changing the way relationships happen, making sure that both partners can do well and start taking steps to bring life back to or change how these relationships work. New options for your personal and collective growth. Turning stagnant into turning encounters into sources of ideas and progress which in turn makes being able to live a fuller life and make the lives of people better by those who connect our relationships with our most important ideals and goals, persistently being selfish in healthy relationships, a mix between giving and getting and getting is important because it shows a commitment to giving and receiving honor when one party consistently shows selfish behavior all the time. Putting their own needs ahead of those on the other hand, this is a clear vis, zex, of these key ideals of Stoicism that values being moderate and fair in what you do, is in these cases, it was refuted as the philosophy argues for how important equal rights and feelings for everyone, relationships. The staying power of such being selfish can slowly destroy the the base of any connection that makes it only one side. And unbalanced, this not only hurts the structure for joint support structure needed for a relationship to be strong, but has bad effects on both parties being able to keep the peace and work out virtue when a person consistently. If someone feels ignored or undervalued, 
This can cause people to feel angry, and anger that, if not dealt with, can further weaken the link between being aware of the presence of getting rid of selfish habits is important for the long-term success of any getting together. This could mean having an open talk about what each person wants and needs trying to get things back in balance, a place where both partners feel important, and there are times when it may be accepted necessary to make things clear or think about the dynamics of the interaction again. To make sure that everyone respects and being reciprocal are restarted, dealing with these problems not only keeps each person's integrity safe of each person, but it also makes the relationship as a whole, which lets it grow in a way that is more fair and harmonious. Way by encouraging a place where selflessness and respect for each other, we want to renew our commitment to the stoic ideals of right and wrong, important for both individuals and groups. Growth that is harmful. Talking to each other is what the, the basis of everything that matters, how we talk to each other and our ties with each other has a big effect on our link and ability to understand each other. When how people talk to each other changes becomes mostly negative and critical, or how bad the effects are on emotional peace and security can be strict. The Stoics who value peace and balance in how people connect with each other, it's important that communications be aiming for something positive and helpful, the health and growth of everyone took part. A way of communicating that consistently makes us feel bad is a, a clear sign that things are changing. Important for this kind of engagement not only hurts trust and respect between people, but can also make you feel emotionally worn out. Anger and growing distance between celebrations in places where words are used to tear down instead of build the that connection is at its core which is to make people happy and connect with each other, is lost to get conversation back on track. In any connection, it's important to find trends that are harmful and talk to them directly. This could mean setting clear rules for how to interact, that reject bad things and encourage being honest and polite dialogue, and sometimes the help of, if you need a mediator or guide, Good to change the way people talk to each other toward a better and happier life. Path-seeking building. I've communication costs money in the, the mental health of everyone involved and how good the relationship is. When we do that, we not only follow stoic ideals of happiness exchanges, but they also make an a place where everyone can feel, listen to, respect and changing what's important. Patterns of conversation to constructive ones is important for keeping lasting and important ties to make sure they are sources not caring about each other or growth to meet their own wants in any relationship, love and care for each other, each person's unique wants and setting limits is important for keeping good for you and balanced encounters and a lack of concern for. These needs show a major lack of respect that can lead to serious problems. The respect and peace of mind of those engaged in stone ISM. The two-way flow of it's not just seen as a matter of politeness, but as an important part for the act of goodness and religious health and happiness. When a relationship doesn't care about or ignores your wants and limits, that it may show that the two are not getting along with your moral and social standards. All of this constant invalidation can cause feeling like you're not seen and insignificance that is bad for more than to self-worth, but also to being able to keep a live your life based on your own beliefs. In addition, this lack of care can get in the way of your growth and personal growth, holding you back chances to live genuinely and fully. It's important to understand and talk about this dynamic within connections to make sure that you're the relational context fits in with the ideals of respecting each other, and so much thought is put into this in STOISM to fix this problem. It is important to make your message clear what people want and need in the setting up relationships, and setting clear limits may be necessary to keep your honor and support, a setting where people can in some situations 
it may be needed to re-evaluate and maybe change or end the ties that continue to ignore your important is met by taking steps to make sure that your needs are met and not just make your own situation stronger in your partnerships, but they also encourage and place where being honest and respecting can grow and contribute to better and relationships that are better not being responsible to each other. Being responsible is important in any a good relationship because it lets both parties to each get a fair share of the being responsible for deeds and the main factors of the a friendship. A lack of responsibility most especially when one of the refuses to take their fair share. Ever flaws or disagreements can lead to an setting that is out of balance. And not only is this behavior unfair, goes against the stoic ideals of being honest and fairness, but they can also do a lot of harm the trust and inner strength that back up the relationship when one person doesn't from being responsible, it often puts the other person in a place where they need to make up for this lack. Putting an unfair load on this. And mismatch can make you feel like anger and frustration, and if not fixed, can slowly start to hurt trust and mutual respect that are very important to keeping any friendship going with. It is important to deal with these problems. That both partners promise to be honest. Taking a look at yourself and talking to others about what they did and what happened as a result in that. This means figuring out when mistakes happen truly, apologizing and making honest attempts to fix problems habits and stop their routine that encourages mutual taking responsibility in a relationship not only fits with what the Stoics taught, but also makes the relationship stronger. Building that creates a place where you can make justice and trust grow by keeping these dynamic relationships going make things more fair and equal by all of them built a strong base for ongoing progress and growth of the self. Now that you know the most important, how important respect is in partnerships and how being without it can deeply affect not just the relationship's health, but also your health and safety, ask you to think about how you can use these ideas in your everyday life. Awareness is the first step toward change. Action makes it stronger, so be sure to share add your thoughts and stories in the space below. Below, your gift is very important to adding to our conversation. If this video was useful to you, please consider signing up, going to the channel and turning on the bell to make sure you don't miss any. We can make all of our future stuff together, make things healthy and more polite. Thanks for watching. Relationships. I'll see you soon.